Hello YouTube, Anthony Sequera here. Big shout out to my friend OB, that's Kevin O'Brien from UMass in the 1980s. Uh, Kevin's watching these series of videos that we are using to speed up our Windows 10. In this episode, we need to talk about hard drives. It's pretty funny. Hard drive space used to not be a big issue for us. Well, actually, it initially was with Windows, but then hard disks that we stored Windows on got huge, and so we stopped worrying about it. It would be common for us to have like a two terabyte hard disk, and so Windows was just taking up a fraction of this. Now it's come full circle, and that's because solid state disks or SSDs are awesome, lightning fast, they're not mechanical, they don't have moving parts, they don't fail as often, but they tend to be smaller. So a lot of us are now back down to like 256 gig drives and these can definitely fill up. And when your hard disk fills up, Windows 10 is gonna perform like crap. That's the official term, crap. So we wanna make sure we avoid this. We wanna make sure that we always have plenty of free disk space when it comes to our Windows 10 systems. Let's take a look at how we can ensure this. So if you come down here to the search area and you type Explorer, you'll of course be brought to your file explorer. And if you click on this PC, you'll see your disk that you've installed Windows on. It's typically the C disk, of course. And notice I've got plenty of free space but I still want to get in there and show you how to keep the space free. Also, when we're talking about disks these days, a lot of us are used to speeding things up by going in and optimizing and defragmenting our drive. The great news is we don't really have to worry about that much anymore. Notice here that Windows 10 discovered that I had a solid state drive and it's doing the optimization for me. We don't touch this. In fact, if we were to go in and try and defrag this drive over and over again, not only would we not speed things up, but we would shorten the life of the drive. So typically, we're just letting Windows 10 handle this for us. We don't need to do anything. So what about cleaning up space? Well, there's this great disk cleanup utility here. And you can see if I go with the settings that are selected here of cleaning up all I can, I'm gonna save 1.56 gigabytes. That's pretty substantial. But if you click here, clean up system files, it's gonna look at system files that can be cleaned up as well. And you'll typically discover you can save a whole bunch more disk space. Look at this, there's eight gigs under the Windows Update Cleanup. So that's substantial. So I'll go through now and I'll make sure everything is turned on as far as cleaning this disk up and I'll say okay and I will delete all of these files. Now, couple of things to keep in mind here. With those Windows Update files, with me tossing those out like that, I'm not gonna be able to roll back to my previous version of Windows before the update. But I know I don't wanna do that. So I have no problem cleaning up those files. But definitely something to keep in mind there. Another thing to keep in mind is that the more disk space that you can free up, the longer this process is gonna take. So in my case, it was nearly 10 gigs. So I can go out and have some lunch right now because this Windows update cleanup process is gonna take some time. You can see there, that's the bulk of what we're cleaning up. And then it'll go on to clean the other things. So just be patient, this cleanup process can take quite a bit of time. So here in the second part of our series on speeding up Windows 10, we took a look at the hard disk drive. We wanna keep plenty of free space on the, on the disk drive. I said hard disk drive. We know today we're typically dealing with those SSDs. No matter what type of drive you have, keep plenty of free disk space on it. This is another powerful tip to getting the most speed out of your Windows 10.